Hey everybody, it's Tamika with Scrap the World and I am here with my second video as a guest designer for The Greeting Farm. If you haven't checked out the first video and blog post, I'll have that link down below for you guys to watch in the description box. So today we're going to be doing a card and I'm going to be using uh, this die cut. It's Happy Birthday, really cute die cut. And I'm also going to be using uh, the stamp set, It's Your Birthday. I'll be using this cute little girl on a stack of macaroons, the small macaroon, and hope your wishes come true. So um, let me share with you the other items that I'll be using for this card. I'll be stamping on watercolor paper. This is a 90 pound watercolor paper. I'll be using cardstock um, as well from Cardstock Warehouse, Green Apple, and Bubblegum Pink. I'll be using an embossing folder. It's a dimensional embossing folder. Also, this uh, rectangle scallop die set. I'll be using some gems and a sentiment from one of my paper collections that I have on hand. I'll also be using some Distress Oxides in Peacock Feather spun sugar squeeze lemonade seedless preserves shabby shutters and um, distress ink and rusty hinge and these are the other items i'll be using some um, fussy cutting scissors a water brush pen some wink Stella, some double-sided foam tape spray adhesive my little tweezers for my jimmies pop dots wet glue and dry glue I also have a little container where I'm going to put water for my watercolors. I'll be using my stamp press to help me get um, accurate stamps and then also some Gina K Designs ink. So I think that's it. Let's get started with making the card. All right, so I'm going to grab my stamp set here and it says, hope your wishes come true. Okay, and I have my insert already cut out for the inside of my card. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to hold it down with my little magnet pieces. And then I want it right here in the center. Put this right on top. Press it down. Make sure I grab that stamp. And I'm going to stamp it up with this ink. And I'm going to do this twice. I want a nice, crisp, dark image. Perfect. I've cut out the scallop rectangle that I'm going to use as my layering piece. I'm going to put that right on top and my adhesive in the back. And then I'm going to lay that right on inside of my card base. I'm going to add some wet glue to the back of my base card here. I already have double-sided tape on there. This is the dimensional piece. So I want to make sure I get all my grooves, my nooks, my crannies, and then put this center this card right on top of my card base or center that piece on top of my card base and this embossing folder is super cute look at that it gives a nice dimension without so much dimension so love that super super cute all right i have the second piece here that i'm going to pop up i've cut that out in white um heavyweight cardstock and then I'm going to add some double-sided foam tape to the back. Okay. I'm just going to lay this right on top. I added a little bit of hot glue to the foam tape. Again, just to make sure that I get in all the grooves of this embossing folder. Okay, that's what we have. So cute. Love that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is work on our happy birthday. So I've cut it out twice in heavyweight cardstock. I'm going to layer these right on top of each other um, just to create some sturdiness. And then we're going to go ahead and water watercolor this one here. So let me go ahead and lay this together really quickly. Okay, easy peasy. I'll set this aside to dry and then we can go ahead and color this one. I'm just going to grab a little mat here to color on on my surface. And then I have my happy birthday here. I'm going to take my brush I'm going to add a little water to my bowl here and then I'm going to arrange these on how I want them to lay. I'm going to start out with just wetting my watercolor paper. And then I'm going to start out with the squeeze lemonade right there at the top and I want it to blend in. 
And I'm just going to do like a little ombre effect on these. Okay. Switch over to Shabby Shutters. Just a little green here. And then come in with the Spun Sugar. This is a lighter color. So I'm going to do a little bit more like dapping on here. This is so cute. I am loving this little rainbow here. And if I need to, I'll go back in, dry it and go back in. And then we're going to move on to Seedless Preserve. Add a little bit of that darker color to it. Not too much and then finish up with the peacock feathers what a cute little watercolor card so I'm gonna um, put these away for a split or put the lids on them at least and then I'm gonna dry this happy birthday so so pretty I love all those colors and then I'm gonna take my wink of Stella pen and just go over this and give it some shimmer and then dry it again all right so that's how that came out and then now i'm going to um, add some wet glue to the back of here and adhere it to the two layers from previous all right we're going to set that aside for now now we can grab our image we got a little little lady with the macarons a stack of macaroons and then the small macaroon by itself. Okay. And then I'm going to add my stamps here. This one here for now. Okay. I'm going to stamp it with my ink. Great. And then I'm going to take this off and restamp some more macaroons here. I'm going to start out with um, this seedless preserve and I'm going to go ahead and wet the tip of my brush a little bit, dap it in the color, and little Miss Lady is going to have some purple hair. All right, purple, cute. I'm just going back and forth between the water and the brush, just depending on how much saturation I want. I'm gonna take my peacock feathers and do the same thing here. This is gonna be her bow. I'm just gonna wet this just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the same and then just kind of get her dress. It's a tiny dress, but it's a dress nonetheless. And then I'm gonna grab some more water, kind of wet this macaroon and add some more water to this. Get it nice and saturated. And I like the ooze out effect on these macaroons the watercolory thing going. I'm also gonna do another macaroon in the same color. This one's a little bit more saturated because it'll be popped up on the front, on top. I'm gonna go with Spun Sugar next. I'm gonna do shabby shutters. I'm gonna grab my rusty hinge Put a little bit of water on her face, her arms, and legs, and just grab a smidge of the rusty hinge. Give her a little bit of color. Okay. 
All right, we're done with that. Now I'm just going to um, dry these with the heat tool. That's all nice and dry. And now I'm going to add some double-sided tape to the back here. All right, I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to some heavyweight cardstock. Cut this out. All right. And then I'm going to take my fussy cutting scissors and then cut all around the perimeter of the stamped image. All right, those are all done and they are so cute. They are so, so cute. Um, I decided to go ahead and include a little bit of the stickles. I'm gonna put them on the middle of the macaroons once they're all done. So now we can go ahead and put the rest of this card together. I'm gonna add some double-sided tape to the back of these. I'm actually going to go back and color one more, these two macaroons, really quickly. All right, so I'm going to add some wet glue to the back of my happy birthday. We'll put that there. So cute. That is so cute. I'll just put her there. Just like that. And then we can layer her macaroons. Okay. And then put that off to the side there. This one off to the side. I like that they're kind of toppling over. That is so cute. So cute. All right. So now we're going to add some little jammies. All right. I'm going to grab this sentiment and I'm going to back it up on this cardstock, make it more sturdier. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals right on top. And then we'll be done. And that says, treat yourself. All right. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to add my Wink Stella to these to make them super shimmery on the tops. Even our little friend here. Get her bow and hair all nice and cute old dress okay and then i'm going to take the crystal stickles and line the macaroon with them like that to make it pop even more and that is going to be so adorable and i'm going to do them for all of these Super, super, super cute. I am in absolute love with this card. So adorable. In fact, I love it so much, I made a second one. It's either that or I accidentally didn't push the record button when I was making this one. Either way, I have two cards <laughs> that are so, so cute. So again, I've used the Greeting Farm It's Your Birthday stamp set and then also the Happy Birthday die cut. My name is Tamika with Scrap the World. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check the description box below for everything I mentioned in the video. Bye.